It really is a hell of a world when you are not around. It shows a little devil boy on top of planet Earth, you know, kind of saying, hey, it sucks when you're not around. This was one of the letters that he sent. This one is kind of interesting. My dad was a tank driver in the war. So here's a picture of him and his tank. And he writes, I'm rhyming number 12, dear, was harder than I thought. But of all the girls that's in this world, here's one I'm glad I caught. And then he's got like a little lasso and it goes to the um, address. And this is her um, married name. So they were married at the time this one went through. In 1944, my grandfather, Donald Johnson, sent over 200 letters and cartoons to my grandma, Audrey Moras, in World War II. This is a story of art, war, and family. He was a visionary. He was so talented. In his khaki suit, he looked so cute that all the chicks all swoon with delight. Mr. Sam, release that man, because I can't duty tonight. This is another favorite of mine that he sent my grandma. It shows you know, a drawing of Uncle Sam with his arms around my grandfather saying, hey, you're stuck with me for now, signifying you're still in the war. Donald was actually offered a design job at the Walt Disney Company, but he just wouldn't leave Minneapolis. Actually, I did not even know they existed until after my dad had passed away. And I was over at my mom's apartment and she had the book, the original book, wrapped in a dish towel. And she handed it to me and she said, here, would you fix this? I didn't even know what it was, and I, I tried to unwrap it there, and she says, no, just take it home and fix it. Well... The envelopes are amazing, but there were love letters inside each of them, which we never got to see. I don't think we saw them as children, so I didn't really know anything about them until later in life. The letters were sent from Fort Knox, outside of Louisville, Kentucky, all the way to North Minneapolis, where Audrey was living at the time. But the ones that I think are most fascinating is like he's He's telling a little story and then includes the address as part of that little story. And I thought, well, good for him. Um, the post office today, I'm not sure, would be sophisticated enough. After attending the University of Minnesota, my grandpa enlisted in the war to serve as an engineer draftsman in 1943. Some of his adventures, you know, he painted the nose cones of a lot of fighter jets. He also painted many generals' wives that, that he was in demand when he was at Fort Knox. The, those generals wanted their wives' portraits painted and, and he did that. What happened next? Well, Don was shipped overseas to fight in World War II. Other than the shock of the photos that he took during the war, you know, he really didn't talk much about it. Yes, he did have a war album and he documented everything that he did. So we saw that probably, I think we saw it by mistake 
and we were very, very moved by the photos. He did share one memory about how his tank was hit by a mortar and how they were trying to get out and, and my mother would say he would, when he got home from the war, he would have nightmares and she would catch him on his knees over the headboard pounding on the wall because that was a memory of him pounding trying to get out of that tank because it was burning and... Don drove a tank throughout Germany, taking photos along the way. His troop was the first to rescue prisoners from the Nordhausen concentration camp. Some of the photos you may see here are a bit graphic, just a warning. dad was a really soft, kind, caring, gentle person and I think it was an extremely difficult time for him when he saw that. When I was young I was morbidly fascinated but as you get older you realize the horror of the Holocaust and the loss of humanity that went along with it and I'm sure it affected him deeply. He's in a war zone. He's driving a tank, and he still was able to do that for her. I, I just find that so incredible, and you know, a real visionary with things, but I did not know the depth of his love for my mother, and that was startling to me. That The things that he had written on the outside of the envelopes, it was just really amazing to me that thinking of them as young lovers, it brings tears to my eyes. It really, it does because he was so loving to her. Don and Audrey went on to have three daughters, and one of them is my mom. I believe these three were, were an assignment on the current fashion of the day. This one was, he did to represent my mother. I had neighbors later in life say to me, do you realize how charming your dad was? He was very charismatic. People were drawn to him for many reasons. He was well loved by everyone because he made everyone feel special. And I think that's a great trait to have. I have fond memories of my grandpa Don. Unfortunately, he passed away in 2008. But my grandma Audrey is still around at 97. She is awesome. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19 restrictions and Audrey's declining health, we were unable to interview her for this video. It's really unfortunate that you're not able to interview my mom at this time. She recently went into a memory care unit and due to COVID, we are not able to go in there. My sisters and I see her separately, individually, but no one else is allowed in at this time. My grandpa lived an extraordinary life. From his artistic talent, to his time in the war, his career, raising a big family. To me, the letters show the deep love and affection that my father had for my mother. Sometimes I'm amazed at some of this legacy that he's left 
in terms of these photos and these letters. It's, it's a unique legacy that a lot of families don't have. But he was kind and caring and humble and, you know, that expression, he'd give you the shirt off, off his back, that was my dad. I just am so impressed by those envelopes and the amount of work that went into him and the lovingness that was, you know, obviously just on the outside, not even knowing what the inside letters were, but the outside envelopes, that he was so in love with her and um, he obviously showed it.